guys! So today I'm here with my sister, Dolly Menes. Finally, I know. <laughs> and today... <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was today we are going to be filming the throwback tag and I actually didn't know what video I wanted to film with her but I found this tag online so I thought we would do it and it's just uh, 15, 15 questions and we're just going to answer them like taking turns. So the first question is, what year were you born? 1992. And I was born in 1993. Do you have any pictures of yourself from when you were younger? If you do, show them. And um, yeah, I think we have some online, don't we? We do, but I don't want to get it. Oh, online? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we'll like um, add the pictures in the clip right now. What TV shows did you grow up watching? All that Keenan and Kel, I think. It's the Orange Soda. Yeah, what the fuck? You know, who loves orange oh, soda? Yeah. I do, I do, <laughs> I do, ooh. <laughs> and then Rugrats, hey Arnold. Yeah, Rugrats. Um, oh, Wild Thornberry. I like Franklin the Turtle. Remember Franklin? Yeah. And Guys. Little Bear. That and then we yeah. like um, The Land Before Time yeah. too, but that was a movie. <laughs> Show a video of yourself when you were younger. We actually don't have videos of ourselves when we were younger. Our mom didn't really record us <laughs> when we were younger. So I guess we won't be doing that one. And um, number six, what were your favorite toys to play with? I was a bully. I don't think I really played with toys. I just bullied kids. Like her. I bullied her. She did what? <laughs> she hardcore bullied me. Yeah. I'll throw rocks at her and make other kids pick on me. Yeah, she'd chase me and call, call me a bun with other kids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but. I actually played a lot with dolls and Barbies. Like I stopped playing with dolls and Barbies when I was like in seventh grade. Don't lie, it was when you got to high school. <laughs> You're stupid. I mean, it's kind of embarrassing, but yeah, I was obsessed with dolls and Barbies. What's the most embarrassing thing that you can remember doing? You first. I can't really think. Of it. I need to listen for a second. Wait, this what I'm thinking. Cap on. so stupid. Um, so, there was this one time, what, no, there wasn't this one time, okay, I was in sixth grade, right, and the, there was a fourth grader that I had a crush on, and I remember, I he found out. He was your out, boyfriend, though, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he was my boyfriend, but we never did nothing, he was just a little crush. And I found out that this little fourth grader in his class was trying to, like, flirt with him and shit, so I went outside. <laughs> so I went outside, during recess, and I poked at her, and I was like, you trying to get at my man? I was like, you better leave him alone. And then she was, she got all scared and stuff. And I feel bad because I was in sixth grade and they were both in fourth grade. But she wasn't like, she wasn't really scared though. Remember, she was kind of like, no, or like she was no. kind of laughing at you. She was scared. Okay. <laughs> she was scared. Okay. And why was that embarrassing? And you know who you were. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why that was embarrassing. I think it's because she wasn't. Scared. She wasn't scared. Uh, so anyways, I don't know. your turn. No. Okay. How do you think of one? Oh, I can actually remember one. I remember when I was like in third grade. Um, I was actually really bullied at this time, but when I was in third grade, I had this crush, and he was actually the best friend of my bully. And I remember I would like stare at him, just be like this, like just staring at him, like with like a blank stare on my face, you know. And then one time, um, my my bully saw me staring at him and then he told the boy that I had a crush on, you know, the one that I was staring at. And he told him that I was staring at him and then, um, yeah, it was pretty embarrassing because they both caught me, like, like freaking gazing at this guy all in love and they started laughing at me. So I think that was pretty embarrassing. Read something that you wrote when you were in kindergarten. And we do have things that we wrote when we were that young, but, um, they're put away somewhere in a box. So since the stuff we wrote in kindergarten are put away in boxes, we're actually going to skip this question and move on to the next one. Three songs you love to listen to as a child. Um, you liked Aaron Carter, remember? Those type of songs? <laughs> well, you were a child. I guess. I love candy. Candy. Dun, 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 dun. She like she was obsessed with Aaron Carter. She had his posters next to her bed. Just because he was young, that's it. <laughs> I was obsessed with Instinct and Backstreet Boys too. And yeah. Ja Rule. Yeah. So instead of naming you guys songs, we're just gonna tell you people that we listen to. <laughs> and for me. Um, 
I was a big Disney Channel fan, so it's all about, you know... She still is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, I liked Hannah Montana the music, I had all the CDs, and then um, the High School Musical music too, and yeah, just that type of stuff I listened to a lot. What was one funny thing you dressed up as for Halloween when you were younger? I don't think I ever dressed up. Yeah, I remember that time you dressed up as a boy? Oh yeah, I dressed up as a boy with the money. You have to make it sound more interesting. <laughs> Dang, I suck at this. I'm serious. I'm so sorry <laughs> if I'm serious. If I'm too serious. Um, I dressed up as a guy with the mustache. <laughs> Is that bad? Yeah. Well, yeah, a mustache. Oh. I don't think I ever really dressed up for Halloween. You, you didn't have to. Girl, look at you. Shut up. <laughs> But yeah, I just remember always liking to stay home and hand out candy, so I don't really think I ever really dressed up. Yeah, I'm not dressed. And our mom wasn't really big on dressing us up or buying us Halloween costumes either. Like, we would kind of make up our own, like, the time when she was a boy, like, we kind of worked that out. Tell me a funny story of something you remember happening when you were young. <laughs> okay, I want to tell one that, that um, involves her being a bully towards me. Okay, so when she was in sixth grade and I was in fourth grade, this was during the winter time. Um, I remember my mom would drop us off in the morning and it was like really icy, you know, on the sidewalk. And yeah, so, and back then we didn't really talk in school very much. Like nobody believed that I was her sister because I was such a nerd and she was like a hardcore badass in school, you know, she was one of those popular people. So nobody really like believed that we were sisters. But anyways, my mom dropped, my mom dropped us off one morning and we were walking inside the school and then I like ended up slipping on the ice and I fell like on my back. And then um, my sister just kept walking. <laughs> she didn't even wait to help me up or anything. And I was embarrassed because there was like a whole bunch of kids walking. And um, so I think she ended up feeling bad for leaving me there. And she came back and she told me. I told you, hurry the fuck up and get up. And I kept walking. And she told me I was embarrassing her. And then she kept walking. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty embarrassing though for me. Yeah. Do you have a story? No. <laughs> okay, we'll have that count for the both of us. Okay. Are there any special things you've kept when you were a child, from when you were a child? I actually have a memory box, like I have my first cell phone in there, my first flip up phone. It's broken but I kept it and I have like a lot of pictures from me and my friends when we were in elementary school and like just like pictures that they gave me or like cards that they made me and stuff like that. What about you? Uh, what's the question? If you have anything that you kept from when you were a child? Um, Never. Anything, anything, anything? Just pictures, I guess. <laughs> oh, I also had this like creepy looking doll that my dad gave me for I think like I think it was like I was my gonna tell you that you had it. Yeah, I think I was either eight, ninth, or tenth birthday. I, I don't remember. <laughs> what the fuck is she doing? But I have this creepy doll. It's like one of those collectors um, glass dolls, and it's really like the box is all messed up, right? Like to this day, I still have it. It's all dusty, and the box is like ripping and stuff. But that is something that I've kept. What was something weird you used to do as a child? Something weird? I could say name something that you did. What? Sit in front of the TV and eat your nap toenails. Dude, that's too uh, T TMI. TMI. <laughs> no, it's true though. Didn't you used to make your nostrils really big and then stick both your fingers? Why the fuck would I do that shit? Are you stupid? <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? No, why the fuck would I do that? <laughs> you would. I don't know. What would you do? Just because I said something that's true nasty about you, I'm gonna make shit up about me. <laughs> I'm not making it up. What's the scariest thing you remember that happened to you when you were younger? Me, my mom says. Me, my mom says. Me? Yeah. Yes, yes. I remember, um. I remember I was outside in, in, our, in my dad's garden and I was walking around and there was a big ass cricket. It was like. It was like. <laughs> there was a big ass cricket. It was so big. It was like probably bigger than, than us. Like. I think I remember you telling us so. Yeah, it was like you. It was bigger than, probably bigger than my mom's car. <laughs> it was bigger than my mom's car, and it was jumping around. Fuck, never mind. Actually, I have one. I remember one time I went, um, I went camping with my godparents, and I went camping, and we went horseback riding. And um, my horse, his name was, I think it was like Lightning or Storm or something, like something scary, you know. 
And like, so yeah, we were walking, like horseback riding on the trail, and then my horse kept biting the horse in front of me, like, and then um, the horse in front of me, like, ended up kicking its back legs at my horse, and my horse went, like, back like this, you know? <laughs> and then I ended up, like, almost falling off. I was literally hanging on by one arm and one leg, and then my um, padrino got off his horse and caught me up. Yes. Okay. And then ever since then, I have been afraid of horses. Like, I will not ever ride a horse again in my entire life. That really traumatized me. I remember I was a little girl and I was in the kitchen with my family and uh, Minnie, that's before Minnie was into the wrapping stuff and she was sleeping on my mom's bed and I went to the I went to my mom's room to go get a pair of socks and then I looked over on the bed and I saw Minnie laying down so I wanted to like give her a kiss and once I leaned over to give her a kiss I looked at her again and it was an old lady and I was tripping the fuck out and I ran and told my mom that that wasn't my sister, that it was an old lady sleeping on her bed and I went back and then it was Minnie again so I don't know what the fuck I did. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I think I was on something. <laughs> I remember kidding, that. But that, that did happen. Okay, so the last question is, how is the world different now from when we were kids? I feel like everybody has sex a lot more now <laughs> at a younger age. Yeah. And a lot more people For some reason pregnant. everybody's fucking lesbian. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of lesbians running around. I mean, yeah, I, mean I don't want nothing against lesbian because you know what? You guys know about many, but... <laughs> like, on. I feel like people say that they're lesbians just for attention, but I don't really think they are lesbians. I don't know. I feel like that's the new thing now, or something. But yeah, I think that has definitely changed. Anything else? There's a lot more sluts. Yeah. <laughs> and people seem to be thinking, like, everybody wants to be drinking and smoking. That's what's up, you know? But... Yeah. Okay, so that's the end of our tag for today. And thank you guys so much for watching. And if you guys want to see her in some more videos, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below telling us that you do. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I will see you guys really soon. Bye! Bye! I want to thank you for the times you were here when no one was around. For the times you came me up when I was feeling down. You know I got your back. You can count on me. You got a problem.